barbershop conversation, guys. I don't know if you've heard, but if you haven't yet, Triple G is fighting Kale Brooks, man. And uh, my immediate reaction was, I interviewed Tom Loeffler, Abel Sanchez, and as much as I could with Triple G, and their mission was to unify the 160 division. Well, I don't know if they know, but there's a WBO belt out there. And they were unwilling, when I say unwilling to even mention Laura, Andrade, all these guys, because they couldn't find a guy at 160. And they criticized Canelo Alvarez for wanting to fight at 155. And yet, we get the news today, September 10th, in London, Triple G is fighting Kell Brooks. This is a cherry pick pussy fight, guys. You know, I was trying to, I thought of an analogy. You know when you meet that bad, that dime piece in the club, guys? And then you talk and you, and you really feel her. And then you realize she got three kids. It's just like, damn, I want to start a future with you. But you got you got baby daddy problems and I wanted to start brand new. I thought she would have won. So now I have to date four people as opposed to dating one. Or, you know, or, or if... <laughs> It's just beyond me, man. You can't figure this boxing shit out for nothing, man. When you think you got it figured out, Triple G goes and fights Kell Brooks. And this proves Andre Ward's claims to be 100% accurate. He did not want to fight Andre Ward. And it validates what Floyd Mayweather said. If you want to be a great fighter, if you want to be a great fighter, you got to move up and fight. Triple G ain't moving. He couldn't find a fight. Why is he fighting a 147 pound guy? You know, and they, and I was, and it's well documented, guys. You can go to my channel. You can go to Dante's Boxing Channel. I call Triple G the best fight in the world. I interviewed four, I mean, excuse me, Roy Jones Jr. and said, I think Triple G is the best fight in the world right now. And he, he agreed with me. I, I, I believe he agreed when he called uh, Andre Ward the best boxer in the world. But, man, I'm to I'm thoroughly disappointed. I was trying to think of a nickname for Triple G. Triple Pussy G? I don't know. Man, he and Canelo are just so disappointing because it's a sexy fight. It's a sexy fight. It's a sexy ass fight. And then you realize she got fake ass and fake titties. So your child will not look like her. And she's had plastic surgery. You know what I mean? It's 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 going to sell. It's going to look good in the club. It's going to look good at night. It's going to look good on paper. But when in reality, but when in reality, this is an easy ass fight for Triple G. Now, I will say this. Kell Brooks has cheated the game at 147. He's a much bigger 147 pound guy. But... I assume he has great discipline outside of the boxing boxing realm, and uh, he uh, he does a great job with his diet and his conditioning, so he's able to make 147. So I would say he comes in the ring at 156, 157. And also keep in mind, he's never fought anyone besides uh, Sean Porter, and he had to, and his style and his game plan was flawless that night. I was there ringside and I watched the fight, and uh, this goes to show you either he's running. From someone at 147 because he doesn't I mean he's not searching for a payday it's just no way and he's in a win-win situation no matter what happens in this fight he's still the IBF welterweight champion of the world so so go figure man this is a barbershop conversations I'm obviously gonna watch the fight it's on HBO I'll be with friends and family watching this fight but don't be fooled do not be fooled by the glitz and glamour you know what I mean? She has a fake ass, she has fake titties, and she has plastic surgery. Your kids will not look like this. And uh, it's an easy fight for Triple G. He's going to walk through Kell Brook. He won't even be able to clinch Triple G. I'm not sure if it's going to be a catch weight. I just heard uh, Kell Brooks won at 155, but that's not final yet. And if this goes to 155, it's, I get to do another video because it validates... I don't know who to believe now. Canelo, Triple G. This is a whole bunch of hogwash. So, uh, and you know the, the irony of this whole situation is 
by them fighting in London. They've escaped American media. So they don't have to answer our questions until the next fight. So they get three or four months, because I believe he's on the fight again in September, October, maybe January or December. December is typically a dead month just because of the holiday season and between Thanksgiving and New Year's, there's not much going on besides, you know, um, maybe the first week of December. I'm not sure, but we'll see. But uh, it's disappointing. Well, forgive me, Canelo's fighting in December. Um, this is disappointing, but who's the bigger pussy, Canelo or Triple G now? And uh, it's very disappointing, guys, that Triple G would fight a 147 guy. But hey, I guess he wants to be more, more Canelo than Andre Ward. I guess he wants to be more Canelo than Floyd Mayweather. I guess he wants to be more Canelo than Roy Jones Jr. You know, Roy Jones went up to fight at heavyweight. He didn't go down. He went up. So, barbershop conversation. Let me know what you guys think. The smokes and mirrors. Don't be fooled by this fight. It looks good on paper. You know, they both got six packs. They both undefeated with, I think, Kell Brook got 28 knockouts. Triple G got 33. Forgive me if I'm going off the top of my head. And uh, it looks good. But keep in mind, she's really not as pretty as she is with strobe lights on as she is in the sunlight. Because everything is fake. This is all, uh, this is all a trick bag, guys. And... Uh, they're going to sell this fight. It's going to sell out. Kell Brook is going to bring everyone there. But for what? To get knocked out in the sixth or seventh round? He's going to feel Triple G's power and say, I, I don't belong here. So barbershop conversation. But if Kell Brooks wins this fight, whoo-wee, <laughs> then I'll tuck my tail and run. But anyways, barbershop conversation. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.